Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, let's see, it's Wednesday, January 29th, and it's 3.26 p.m. I want to weigh in on a news report from Fox, no, I'm sorry, not Fox this time, CBN. I think that's Christian Broadcasting Network, isn't it? All right, this was in my email. I clicked on it. The title is Trump to put prayer back in schools. We will, this is a quote from him, we will not allow faithful Americans to be bullied. Now, I want to play for you a little clip. Let me see if I can find it. Hopefully, I'll just back up and you listen to this for just maybe 30 seconds. Today's announcement reinforces what's on the books. To remind the chief education officers in all 50 states that students have the right to pray at their own direction, to gather at their own direction, to bring the Bible to school if they choose to, to bring the Quran or the Torah in. Okay, and what else? Bible, Quran, Torah. What if your religion is witchcraft and you choose to bring in Harry Potter or whatever uh, textbook comes along with that? Think about it. Everybody below me said, uh, Praise the Lord. Uh, glory to God. This is the work of God. God is good. That amazes... That amazing God bless you, President Trump. PTL. Okay? People aren't thinking it's best to leave things just the way they are. They're not going to just allow Christians to pray and bring the Bible. This is opening up a whole new can of worms. This is what I believe in my heart. Why? Because look at the times we're living in. We are not living in the 1950s anymore, people. This is 2020, and evil in this country abounds. I know it's not popular for me to say this, but President Trump is just doing his part. They're telling him to do these things, to make him look good. They want him, it's making it look like the Republicans want him reelected in 2020. And I don't know what's going to go on with that. I, I thought by now, you know, when with the way the word says how the seventh president will remain a little while, or the, the king, the leader, however it's worded, will remain a little while, and then the eighth is of the seventh, is of the seven. He was and is not, but will be again. And... A lot of us believe that's Barack Obama. The Lord has showed us Barack Obama is the Antichrist. So if Trump was supposed to lead a little while, see, I thought he would have been gone by now. Because we're already into January. They're already talking about uh, the next elections. Oh, excuse me. That's... I had to do a breathing treatment. I'm going to, anyway, never mind about that. This is important. And, you know, you feel free to disagree with me if you think this is fine. That on Mondays, a Christian, a Christian child can come bring a Bible and read or pray. And then on Tuesdays, they'll let a, a Muslim child pray something from the Quran. And then on Wednesdays, they'll let a Jewish boy or girl read from the Torah. I'm fine with that. What's but what once you say that you have to open this up to all religions, there is a satanic Bible. Now, what if your child, who's none of the above that I mentioned, gets interested in that? Oh, well, I want to know more about that. And they ask that kid after school, Tell me more about your Bible. I just There's something sneaky going on in Washington. And it's not good. And that is, in my honest opinion, I'll end it there. Let me know what yours is. Bye for now. Talk to you later.